Welcome to the Commerce Hotel and Casino in Los Angeles, California, where the world's greatest strength athletes have come to find out who is the strongest in the 35th edition of the Metrics World's Strongest Man. So the first of six unique tests of strength to challenge the athletes in Group 4 will be the loading race. And Phil, this event will show that being a modern-day strongman isn't just about static strength. Anvils, four giant 275-pound anvils. These things have to be ripped from the ground and then carried to our platform. From On to heat number to one, this is 26-year-old Graham Hicks from England, 5'10", 265. He is 10 pounds Strongest lighter than the anvils the he'll be carrying. Welcome, this Irvin is Irvin Katona making his fourth hey. appearance at the World's Strongest Man. 35 years of age, he's a two-time finalist. And 31-year-old Oli Martin Hansen is another rookie. He checks in at 6'1", 317 pounds. So here we go, it's simple. Four anvils weighing 275, and look at Graham Hicks. Great start from Hicks. Already on to anvil number two again, 275 pounds. There's four of them. You gotta be impressed with Hicks, a rookie showing well here. He is nearly one full length of the course ahead of the rest of the athletes. Can he keep it up though with that fourth anvil? And remember, the anvil he's carrying is 10 pounds heavier than he is. Only Martin Hansen, though, starting to catch up. It's going to be a race to the line. Who could place it first? And it is going to be Graham Hicks. So 41.99 put up by Graham Hicks, just better than Ole Martin Hansen. He comes in at 43.21 and very pumped up. <gasps> Irvin Katona rounds out the three. Great foot speed from Hicks all the way. He led the entire race with all four objects and edges Hansen for the win. So we move on now to heat number two. Lithuania's Vitotas Laulas is 5'10 and 320 pounds. There's no doubting that he is one of the elite athletes in the sport. Next to him, Jerry Pritchett of Arizona. His background is in powerlifting. He's 31, 6'4 and 340. And finally, Louis-Philippe Jean of Quebec. He last reached the final in 2009. And the 28-year-old badly wants to return. Ready? LPJ talking the talk, but can he walk the walk here in the anvil race? Quickly, Vitota Salalas off to a very clear and commanding lead. Meanwhile, Louis Philippe Jean missing the platform, so he's got to place it. And Vitota Salalas is just blitzing this course. 41.99, the mark to beat, put up by England's Graham Hicks. Pritchett having a good showing, going for the third anvil. But Lawless is just smoking the course, already on to anvil number four. Whoa! Look at this. Big turn of events there as Vitotas Lalas looked to be in position to put up the best time, and he stumbles on the fourth anvil. That is going to give the win to Graham Hicks. 44.95 for Vitotas. And Pritchett finishing with a respectable showing. Meanwhile, LPJ got off to a bad start for him on anvil number one. He finally stops the clock at 58.71 seconds. Vitotas Lawless' time, good, but not good enough for first. He claims third place. USA. And Jerry Pritchett, fifth place, four anvils, 48.83 seconds. And already a hole for Louis-Philippe Jean. He comes in sixth. Vitotas Lawless on the fourth anvil falls. He's lucky not to be injured. Graham Hicks probably surprised everyone but himself by winning the loading race. He claims first, only Martin Hansen finishes in second. The six international athletes in qualifying group number four move on to their second of six events. It's the arm over arm pole. Our athletes must start in the sitting position and try to drag two pickup trucks weighing 15,500 pounds up our 20 meter course in 75 seconds or less. Graham Hicks, in his World's Strongest Man debut, won the first of any face. The second didn't quite go as well. The Englishman could only move the pair of trucks, which total 15,500 pounds, a distance of 8.15 meters. 
Louis Philippe Jean entered the arm over arm poll in sixth place in the overall standings, and he's unlikely to move up after only being credited with 13.70 meters. The Canadian was a pitcher of frustration afterwards. Jerry Pritchett will be the next athlete to attempt the arm over arm poll. The man from Avondale, Arizona was fifth in the first event. Now, Phil, is this something that Jerry or any of these athletes can train with pretty easily? Absolutely. All of the athletes train every event. Whether or not they can do it easily is a matter of opinion. This is an event where timing, technique, they all come into play. It's not enough just to be strong. You've got to be conditioned. Training really pays off for an event like this. Well, there you see the heart rate escalating quickly, already in the mid-180s. Jerry Pritchett on the rope. He's going to set the time to beat him. This looks pretty good, Phil. He's moving quickly. Check out the heart rate getting way up there. Definitely maximum output. He's being very intense. Here it is at the finish line, the final meter. And he stops the clock with an impressive time of 37.28. Jerry Pritchett of the USA with the mark to beat here in the arm over arm pole. Arizona's Pritchett was the picture of intensity and efficiency the entire way down the course. He didn't let up for an instant. An amazing feat of strength and endurance. Ole Martin Hansen finished second in the first event. Can the Norwegian rookie keep up the momentum here in the arm over arm pole? 15,500 pounds is the task. Now remember, the mark to beat put up moments ago by American Jerry Pritchett, 37.28 seconds. Ole's technique also looking pretty good. He looks committed, but he doesn't seem to be generating that same level of power. Perhaps his grip isn't as good as Pritchett's was. He's doing a great job keeping the whole body moving, getting a lot out of the legs, a lot out of the low back, pulling with the lats and biceps as well. Just doesn't seem to get that deep pull on every stroke that Pritchett realized to get that great time. He's also pushing the heart rate way up there. Look at him, 195. Definitely working hard. Just can't produce the same kind of result that Pritchett was able to motor down the course with. The Norwegian looks almost spent here as he's coming up to the time limit. Remember, it's 75 seconds, and his heart rate is in the red zone now as he at 209 wow. beats per minute. And I guarantee his forearms feel like they are about to burst. So he will run out of time, but he will be credited with distance. So Ole Martin Hansen gets 18 and a half meters of the 20 meter course accomplished. What a fantastic test of strength. Incredible cardiac output. Hansen gave everything. We've talked about how difficult the start is. Just look at the strain as the Norwegian tried to get the pair of trucks up and over the hill. So Irvin Katona now on deck. This is the arm over arm pull. That's 15,500 pounds that he is trying to pull over a 20 meter course. Currently in fourth place after one event and the mark to beat, a very impressive time put up by America's Jerry Pritchett, 37.28 seconds. You know, Todd, Katona is one of those classic strongmen. It is just so fun to watch. He has this great personality. Sven Carlson was telling me he can never be mad when Katona's around. He's got a strong personality, a strong physique. Katona is awesome. Doing great work here. He's got the momentum going. That's 15,500 pounds that he's pulling arm over arm as he comes down the final few meters. This is going to be close. He's not going to get the winning time, but he will move into second place. Irvin Katona with a 39.53 second pull. So clever, switching to that overhand grip to get the job done. Now, this is a guy with all sorts of smarts and experience. Katona produced a great result, but just not enough to take the lead. Well, Phil, you've got to be impressed with Vitotas Lalas, how he's been able to deal with the events that generally favor bigger guys like you. 
Absolutely. Vitotis is very impressive. We haven't seen giant killing skill sets like that since guys like Yoko Ahola and Marius Pudzianowski. So here we go, Vitotas Lalas, our final competitor in the arm over arm pull. That's 15,500 pounds that he's trying to pull over this 20 meter course. And the mark to beat, 37.28, put it by Jerry Pritchett of the USA. Wow, and he really has some fast, fast handwork. He is doing an excellent job at keeping the tension in the rope. He's using his entire body, back, legs, and grip. The question is, will the grip hold out or can he keep it from fatiguing before getting both trucks to the line? Well, he's not going to get the win, but now it's all about points and pride. Oh, he loses the rope there. And that definitely kills the momentum on the trucks. You want to keep the tension in the rope, keep these vehicles rolling. Matotas has plenty of power, and it looks like he might have time to finish the course. 59.12 seconds for a very spent Vitotas Lalas. And that time will be good enough for third place in the arm over arm pole. And Vitotas Lalas was amazing. However, towards the end of the course, his rope work gave way, he lost control and the momentum of the vehicles died. Three men were able to complete the course, but it was American rookie Jerry Pritchett getting a victory in the arm over arm pole with a time of 37.28 seconds. Katona was second, Vitotas Lalas was third. After two events, we have a four-way tie for the lead. Hanson, Katona, Lalas, and Pritchett all have eight points. Hicks is alone in fifth with seven points, and Jean with three points resides in sixth. Experience the opulence and luxury of the American way of life right here in the Commerce Hotel. Whether it's high-class shopping, fun-filled trips to Disneyland and Universal Studios, or spending time unwinding in the spa, the Commerce Hotel is the place to be to experience how America's rich and famous live. The third of six events for this group was the Viking Press. Jerry Pritchard couldn't replicate his results from the previous event. He only had three reps. Graham Hicks was outweighed by the apparatus by 75 pounds, but he also had seven lifts. Only Martin Hansen was able to fire up seven reps of the 340 pound weight. Louis Philippe Jean had nine presses of the all terrain vehicle. Vitotas Laulas put his huge shoulders to great use in this event. The Lithuanian had 10 reps. But no one showed more power than Serbia's Urban Katona. He had 11 lifts. Serbia's Urban Katona makes it three different winners in three events. He takes the Viking press with 11 repetitions. Vitotas Laulas of Lithuania was second with 10 reps. Canadian Louis Philippe Jean was third. After three events, Katona is now in sole possession of the overall lead with 14 points. Lalas trails by just one point. Hanson is in third place. Then it's Hicks, Pritchett, and Jean. In recent years, the performances of Irving Katona and Vitotas Lalas have proven that they're among the very best strength athletes on the planet. So it's no surprise to see them leading the way at the halfway point in Group 4's qualifying round. But the other strong men in the group have shown that they have every intention of battling for the two available positions in the World's Strongest Man Final. Four journeys will end, and two will continue right after this. And we welcome you to another edition of the Metrics World's Strongest Man from our host location, the Commerce Hotel and Casino in Los Angeles, California. The fourth of six events for this group was the squat lift. With zero repetitions, only Martin Hansen had a frustrating time with a 700-pound squat lift. Irvin Katona bettered that result, but just slightly as the Serbian had one rep. Graham Hicks got credit for four lifts of the huge barbell. Jerry Pritchard rebounded from a poor event with a good one. The American had eight reps. 
The squat is one of Louis Philippe Jean's favorite events, and it showed as the Canadian recorded nine reps. But power has been the calling card throughout for Vitotas Lalas. He only added to his reputation with 11 repetitions. Lalas continues the trend of a different winner in each event for Group 4 as he takes a squat lift with 11 reps. Louis Philippe Jean had nine reps to post his best result of the qualifying round. Jerry Pritchett was third with eight. Lawless assumes the overall lead with 19 points thanks to Irving Katona's problems at the squats. The Serbian falls to second with 16 points. Pritchett moves all the way up to third place. The Commerce Hotel in Los Angeles, California hosts concerts, professional boxing, MMA fights. Now you can add the ultimate test and strength athletics to that list. It's the Metric's World's Strongest Man. We move on to Venice Beach for the fifth of six events in Group 4's qualifying round, the Keg Toss, an event that has come to define the World's Strongest Man. This event takes perfect consistency. Managing that trajectory to get eight kegs over the wall requires endurance, explosiveness, and perfect technique. It's a tie on the leaderboard between Ole Martin Hansen of Norway and Graham Hicks of England. So just three athletes remain in this event, and our next competitor is Vitotas Lalas of Lithuania. So Vitotas Lalas is the leader after four events, and this is gonna be a tough task. Remember, there are eight kegs in varying weights, and the mark to beat is six, put up moments ago by Graham Hicks of England, and wow, what a start. He was so aggressive getting to that first keg, really racing to each and every keg. Making quick work of the first six. Now he's onto the heaviest ones. These weigh in at 55 pounds. Oh! I thought for sure he'd get that one over, Todd. So this eight Two keg misses. Proving to be a problem for Vitotas Lalas. Remember, 55 pounds, and it's full of lead shot, which moves around on the throw. Wow, he was just so commanding with those first seven. Shows you how tough this event really is. Requires a lot of power, a lot of endurance, incredible technique and consistency. So he is the current leader in the keg toss with seven. Lawless ran into a roadblock after getting the first seven barrels over the wall with ease. Definitely somewhat of a surprise to see him not complete all eight. Well, Phil, quite hey, simply, it is go Louis. time for Louis-Philippe Louis. Jean if he wants to make a return trip to the World's Strongest Man final. The Canadian comes into the keg toss in fifth place overall. Well, this is the perfect opportunity. He's definitely got the power and strength, but it takes a lot of technique, endurance, consistency, perfect trajectory on those first two. Third, not so bad. Oh! And he wasn't even aware of it. If he can just regroup, Find that trajectory, maintain the power. And these are the 50 pound kegs. Todd, it's so tough to regroup mentally after missing one or two tosses. You know the clock's ticking. You're trying to hurry, but you know you have to slow down and make every throw count. the fifth one over. He's got three more. Remember the time limit, one minute, 15 seconds. This is not a good day for LPJ. And he calls it quits. So Louis Philippe Jean will be credited with five kegs over the wall. Definitely not the result that Big Canadian was looking for. I'm not sure what he said there, Todd, but it can't be great. No cause for celebration. Loses the technique. Certainly has the power, but just can't find his groove after those first three or four kegs. It all fell apart. Irvin Katona of Serbia is in second place after four events. Now, with several of the athletes trailing him in the standings faltering here, a good performance by Katona will solidify his chances of reaching the final. Now, the mark to beat seven put up by Vitotas Lalas of Lithuania. Wow. Get a good indication on the first oh. keg, but he misses on the second. Excellent regrouping by Katona. Back in the groove. So now he's onto the 50 pounders, no problem there. Awesome. 
And if he gets all eight, it doesn't matter what the time is. He'll be the only one that finished the whole rack. So right now, he's even with Vitotas Lalas. Both men have seven kegs over. If he gets his keg over, he is the winner. 35 seconds to go, Evan. And he's got awesome. it. Wow. 47.63 seconds, and Irvin Gatona finishes the entire rack. Congratulations coming from Vitotas Lalas, who finishes in second. Todd, that was the picture of perfect composure. He missed several of the throws, but was able to recover and successfully launch all eight kegs. Irvin Gatona wins the keg toss, gets all eight kegs over the 15 and a half foot wall. Vitotas Lalas was second. Six kegs apiece for Ole Martin Hansen and Graham Hicks, who share third. With one event still to go for Group 4, Lawless' 24 points guarantees that he's earned another trip to the World's Strongest Man final. Second place, Gatona is all but assured of joining him. Hicks, Hanson, Jean, and Pritchett will have to regroup for next year. The Commerce Hotel is located in Los Angeles, California, and it's host to this year's edition of the Metric's World's Strongest Man. The Atlas Stones, the sixth and final event for Group 4, will take place on the sands of Venice Beach. And Phil, it's a grueling test of overall body strength after a long qualifying round. This event nearly defines World's Strongest Man. Five giant boulders, one of them in excess of 400 pounds. Can any of these men lift all five? We are already underway in the Atlas Stones, and Jerry Pritchett of Arizona has completed his first trip to the World's Strongest Man. Pritchett recorded a score of four stones at a time of 34.99 seconds. Graham Hicks had the smallest glimmer of hope of reaching the final, but that chance has been extinguished. The Englishman could only finish three stones in 47.02 seconds. Neither of these two athletes in Heat 2 will be moving on to the final. Ole Martin Hansen, the rookie from Norway, is part of a three-way tie for fourth place in the overall standings. His opponent here, Louis-Philippe Jean of Canada, is also tied for fourth after five events. But it is official, Vitotas Lalas and Irvin Katona cannot be caught in the overall standings, so they have claimed the two spots in the final from group number four. It's got to be tough for these guys, Phil, knowing that they're not moving on to the final. This is all about pride. Absolutely. It's every strong man's dream. Make it the world's strongest man. And this is the signature event. Even if you're not going to the final, you want to show up here. You want to do your best in this event. It's the Atlas Stone. Everybody's seen it. Everybody says, man, it would be awesome to be one of those guys one day. See if I can load all five stones. And LPJ. He's having the highlight of his qualifying rounds here. He's looking really strong, Todd. This is the best performance I've seen from him so far. That's 405 pounds. That's like lifting a really large, slippery refrigerator, and he's done it. Hanson, on the other hand, struggling with number four. So their qualification round comes to a conclusion. Three stones for Ole Martin Hansen at a time of 33.92. And Louis-Philippe Jean all five stones in 40.57 seconds. Hansen struggled over and over again, but he finally did manage to load three stones. LPJ from Canada, amazing. The performance of the heats for him loads five stones. Vitotas Lalas has made it pretty clear that he has the ability to challenge for the World's Strongest Man title. The Lithuanian is Group 4's overall leader after five events. Next to him, Irvin Katona has qualified for the final for a third straight year, but the veteran strongman from Serbia didn't exactly do it the easy way. He's run into a few problems during the qualifier. Right now, the Atlas Stones is the last obstacle for these men. Katona, so accomplished. He's such a grizzled veteran of strongman. The guy amazes me. He's always kind of banged up, but he seems to get the job done in every single event. It's a strategic move, though, as Irvin Katona knows that he's already in the final, so he'll just load one stone, get the one point, and call it good. Meanwhile, Vitotas Lalas, he's not going to let Louis-Philippe Jean get away that easily. He does look to be kind of taking it easy, maybe going at about 70% effort here, Todd. He wants to put on a good show let himself and everybody else know that he's more than capable. Use this as kind of a warm-up for the final. How about this? He's going to go for it. 405 pounds. 
no problem. You made that fifth stone look really casual, but you can see it's still a big job, even for a guy like Lawless. And Irvin Gatona plays it strategic, places one stone in a time of 9.83 seconds. Again, the fifth stone, taking a whole lot of effort from Lawless, but he is more than up for the job. Way to go, Vitotas. Louis Philippe Jean won't return to the final. He does get a consolation prize with his win in the Atlas Stones with five stones in 40.57 seconds. Vitotas Lawless, the only other athlete to complete all five stones, was second. In the final standings, it was Lawless topping the group with 29 points. Katona was second with 23. We'll see them next in the final. An encouraging debut for American Jerry Pritchett as he tied for fourth. The field for the World's Strongest Man final continues to take shape. With the addition of Vitotas Lalas and Irvin Katona, we now have eight of the ten positions filled. Phil Fister, I'm Todd Harris. So long from California.